Graffiti King here on Tip Jars for Jesus. Just got back from church and I got my hit. Uh, it was a lovely experience, great sermon, and the singer was fantastic, <laughs> really top notch. And during the event, as has happened for all of my life, my church going life, about two thirds of the way through, they pass the collection basket. I call it Tip Jars for Jesus. And it's really interesting, the timing. You see, you are into the Mass, into the ritual, and you've gotten lots of good stuff. You have received a blessing. But it is before Holy Communion, which is the big payoff in our faith. And I'm going to suppose in other Christian denominations as well. So in terms of business, positioning the payment after they've gotten some free stuff and before they get the good stuff is very much like internet marketing. It might be an odd way to think about it, but I think it holds up. You have demonstrated some value and got them thinking that you are good and trusted and valuable to them. And because you want more, you're willing to donate and Collection baskets, for those of you who are not aware, are a basket at the end of a really, really long handle. And they come at you from both sides of the pew. So it's very much like a long arm going into your pocket. And it's okay. They have to pay utilities and salaries, etc. And I'm happy to do it. I did notice some 10s and 20s in the basket, which is also interesting. But there you have it. In addition, I did go to Catholic school and even just regular church. They always have an additional offering, a new mission, a new reason to either spread the gospel or help those whom the church helps, which is a lot of people who need a lot of help. And I remember being in grade school And they came up with like another uh, fundraiser. And the parents, being funny, kind of went to the priest and said, hey, you know, can we roll this up? Can can we just do something annually, like another 20 bucks a month? Because it's just a hassle hearing, you know, about the disaster of the week. We get it. You know, can you just bill us? And the priest didn't like that idea priest or the principal or both, because it kind of disrupts their programming, which is that they want to present a new need, a new problem, a new reason for you to be involved financially. And again, this does extend to the businesses that we run. We want to have new products. We want to have uh, a new problem that we're solving. We want to demonstrate vitality, it sounds counterintuitive, but asking for money done correctly does demonstrate vitality. It shows that there's a reason you're in business. There's a reason the audience is with you and that you always are yourself growing and expanding your skills, abilities, and the solutions that you offer. So that's all for now. This is Graffiti King. And in the spirit of this message today, take a look at the books that we have listed underneath this message. We've got valuable offerings for you, whether it be in business or personal development. We'll see you soon.